Okay, Rabotai, this is very uh, fundamental of all Judaism, you understand? This is the Ramchal. The Gaon Mevilna said about the Ramchal, if the Ramchal was alive today, it was saying when he was alive, he would have walked miles and miles away just to see him. Just to see him. That's how Kadosh he was. The Gaon writes, the Gaon Mevilna, because he knew the whole Torah like this. One time there was a story with the Gaon Mevilna, they asked him, oh, they told him, this guy, one, one, one person was saying, this guy knows the whole Torah Kula. Like the Gaon Mevilna. He says, how can it be like the Gaon Mevilna? What are you talking about? How can it be like the Gaon Mevilna? He says, what's the difference? He knows the whole Torah, and he knows the whole Torah. So, so he tells the guy, listen, say, Asher Shavetecha. Say, Asher Shavetecha, the whole Asher Shavetecha, by heart. So now say it backwards. You couldn't do it. How can you say, Asher Shavetecha, David? How can you, can you, Valano Nevarech Kamel, say it backwards. You can't say it backwards, right? Try to say, Asher Shavetecha, backwards, from the last pasuk to the first pasuk. You can't do it, right? But for what you can do it. So the difference is, the Gaon knew the whole Torah backwards and forwards. He could say the whole thing. He knew every single, how many, how many letters, how many words. He knew everything. Uh, Gaon, he was the Gaon of Vilna. In any case, what does he write over here? That Amchal now is talking. And, 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 he, and the Gaon said that it was not extra one word in the first about 10 to 11 parakim of the Gaon, of the Mesilei Sharim, Namchal. He writes, Our rabbis teach us, Shadam lo nivra elalit aneg al Hashem. We are born to have pleasure from Borei Olam, from Hashem. Alright? What's the biggest pleasure? From the Shekinah. What does that mean? Uh, you, you, you're going to have pleasure from Hashem. You can't do that in this world. You could have a sense. You could have a, uh, a, 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 a demion, a mad, a meaning to say, uh, to get close. Yes, you could, you, could, you, could, you could talk to God. You could speak to Him. You could speak to Hashem. Of course, we're supposed to do that. We have to do that. But the pleasure, the physical pleasure of seeing Borei Olam, of, of feeling His presence, of, of, of His ta'anug, of His pleasure, it's impossible in this world. Right? What does it say? Nobody could see Him. Anybody who sees God in this, right, in this world, met. person can't see God. But the strongest pleasure. Now, what does that mean? How is that feeling? What's the feeling? One thing I can tell you for sure. If a person would live from here to his whole life, with the craziest pleasures, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a crazy, whatever, whatever you can imagine is, 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 is what he wants. Take one sniff of that one, take away, right? That one sniff of the outside waiting room of Gan Eden. The outside waiting room of Gan Eden. You're outside. You, imagine you're in the doctor's office. You know, sometimes they have, uh, they have some things they can do in the doctor's office, in the outside waiting room, before you walk into the doctor's office. You didn't even get into Gan Eden, in the waiting room of the Gan Eden. Take a sniff. From underneath the, the door of, of the opening of Gan Eden, the sniff that's coming outside, greater than all the pleasures that you can imagine from here to the whole life. It, you know, my brother was telling me a very funny thing, solely my brother. Yesterday we were walking by, we saw a mansion, a few million dollar mansion, for sale by owner, you know. My brother, he asks the guy, why are you selling? You know, it's too big for us. We married off all our children. All our children, they moved out. They're all married. And for us too, we're already in the 70s, uh, close to 80s. It's, it's too much. Too big of, 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 to maintain the whole house. My brother slowly looks at me and says, Do you see what's going on? The whole world is, is crazy. So what do you mean? He said, this guy, what was he doing his whole life? I'm sure, saving up to build his mansion. Uh, you know, he, he started young, and, and he's 20 years old, and he had a dream. I want to build a nice house. I want to build a palace. I want to build a mansion. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to. So he finally built it. The end of his life, too much maintenance. I'm getting older. It's very hard for me to maintain the house, to clean it, to that. Too many rooms in that. And now he's, what, what is he doing? He's downgrading it to a nice apartment. Two-bedroom apartment with a nice living room, kitchen, and this like that. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> The, the, whole, the whole life he's doing that. And then at the end of his life, he switched it to, to, to two bedroom apartment. Hello, Mishigas. It's craziness. It's wild. I just saw, I was walking to Shula yesterday. I don't want to disturb you, Rabbi Yosemay. I was walking to, to Shula yesterday. A lady stops me. And she says, Good job. Older lady. She says, Good job. Good job. Can I ask you for a favor? So, of course. What do you need? She says, my, my husband fell on the floor. Fell on the floor. He needs help. I said, of course. He says, no, but you can't do it yourself. He's a heavy set guy. I go call Yaron, a guy on my block, and I call another guy on my block. Two, three guys, we walk into the house. We see the guy flat on the floor. 
We lift them up. We help them. You know, looks at me and says, such a palace. Yeah, it's the biggest palace, the biggest armon, the biggest house, biggest... <laughs> life's, life's so delicate. It's so delicate. It's so uh, 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 fragile. You know how you go, sometimes uh, you go on an airplane, you know, you write fragile on the, on the, on the suitcase. Do not, or you go in the supermarket, you write fragile. Our life, our bones are fragile. Who knows? Somebody was just telling me a story. How a guy was drinking tea. He started shaking. They took him to the hospital. They, they saw something wrong with him in his body. You think, yeah, I'm living, I'm chilling. Yeah, you are. You're living and chilling for a purpose. What's that purpose? Don't forget your purpose in life. Your purpose in life is, what's your purpose in life? Your purpose in life is to have pleasure from Borea Olam. Yes. But focus, have your goal. What do you want, what do you want in life? I want to get the biggest got ended. Do you ever have a goal? Yeah. Did anybody ever talk to you about that? You want a mansion in this world? Okay. No problem. I'm not, I'm not saying yeah, I'm not saying no. If you could go. But don't let it distract you from the main purpose of life. Because when a guy hits 70, 80 years old, he wants to sell his mansion because he wants to de- 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 downsize into a two bedroom apartment because it's too big. But God it is forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Focus on that. Make it your goal. How are you going to get there? What are you going to do to get there? How are you going to make it happen? Learn Torah? Good. Very good. Say you sedarim, hog below ya avod. This is what I'm learning. I'm learning every day, two hours, three hours, four hours, whatever it may be, whatever your your full capability is. And do that and, and focus on that and don't stop doing that. That's it. Do or die. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna plug in every single day, two hours in the morning, two hours at night, whatever it may be. I'm just trying to give you an example. You you know your level. I can't tell you your level. But don't sell your level too short. Because the answer, what does he play with you? He tells you, oh, if you go too high, you're gonna fall. It's true. Oh, well, the guy never grows too high because he's always thinking, oh, yeah, I might fall. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm scared. I'm this. I'm that. I'm that. I'm that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And also, don't sell, don't, don't, sell, don't sell yourself too short. You have so much capability in you, you can't even imagine. Your brain power, your, your cohort inside of you, you take the lowest per- person in the world, you think he's the lowest person, he has so much powers, you can't even imagine. It's all hidden underneath. Yeah, I'm not talking about, forget, these are observers, researchers that their whole lives they studied human beings. And they came out and they said, listen, we know the, the, the lowest person with the lowest powers has so much powers that they're not using, that's all in him, they're not even using. You know how much Torah guy looks at Shah, I can't finish the Shahs. Shekel v'hazav. Yitzhah is playing games, you can finish the Shahs. I can't know the whole shots like this. Nah. It's a lie. You could. How do I know that? How many times? I know myself personally. Sometimes I want to remember somebody's number, whatever it is. I know this person. I want to remember. Da, da, da. Boom. I'm able to. Ah, something that you want to know, you do. And you have to push yourself. You do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. And there's so much kohot. And that's what the Mazlai Hashim really is saying. He's saying, listen, you have to know first thing. What's your, what's your goal in life? Your goal in life is one thing. Serving Hashem and having pleasure from serving Hashem. That's, that's what it is all about. And you will, because a person really connecting to God, he's so happy in his life here and his life will be there. But have that goal I want to do. Make a plan every day. Plan it out. I want to do this and I want to do this. Somebody once said, we don't plan to fail. We fail to plan. You understand that or no? We fail to plan. Have a goal. What are you doing? How are you going to get there? You know, this is very, very important. That's what he's saying. Where is this pleasure? It's a real thing. People have to understand it's a real thing. Olam is a real thing. People are like, hey, Rabbi, stop with the hijibiji. There's no hijibiji. Olam Abba is, is, is the emet. Right? The only way you get to Olam Abba is what? Only through this world. Only through this Olam. That's what the, the, the Chazal teaches in Pekah Avot. This world is what? It's only a hallway. In the next world. It's a hallway. So what do we have to focus on? The hallway, we have to focus on the main, main, main ballroom. We have to focus on the main ballroom. You have to focus on eternity. You have to focus on your real mansion that you're never going to sell even in a billion years from now. Of course, don't get me wrong. It's important uh, uh, to have in the hallway uh, a structure for yourself because you have to maintain your health also as well. You have to be healthy, because if you don't be healthy, how what happens? 
down the road, has shalom, a guy, oh, this is hurting, this is aching, and this is that. Of course, you have to maintain uh, 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 your stature in, in the hallway, but don't forget, people forget, they think they're, they're, they're focusing only on the hallway, they're forgetting about the, their, their mansion up there in Shammai, after 120. What's going to be? They want to sit in a shack in a garage? I don't understand. I always say this, I love saying this, but it's a funny thing, I want to, I was giving a class to a few guys, one wise guy, he says in the back, Rabbi, doesn't it say, everybody has a chelik in Allah, Everybody has a piece, a portion of the Mabah, right? That's what it says, right? As long as you're doing well, you're doing Torah, Mitzvot. Everybody has a portion. Okay, I don't care if I'm in the back. It's a lie. It's a lie. You know how I know he's lying, this guy? Because in this world, he, he, he can't take the fact that his friend is making more money than him and that the same guy is going and investing and he's trying to make another house bigger and he's trying to do more. What, 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 what do you care? So you're living. What's the difference if you live in, uh, uh, yeah, you have bread and butter, you have this. What, what do you care? <laughs> you can live also with bread and butter. No, Rabbi, it's not, not comfortable. So no, but also, what do you think? You want to be in the back? You think you're going to be comfortable? You're going to see your friend. I, I grew up with that guy. Ay, ay, ay. That's what happened with Rish Lakish. Who was Rish Lakish? The biggest guy on. What happened with Rish Lakish? He's all his friends, right? He was the band. He was the gang, uh, the gangster, the mafiosa, the head, the mob. And what did, what did he do over there? He was excited and they, he finally he saw Rabbi Yohanan. He thought it was a, a woman. He was very far away. He jumped such a high thing. He says, oh my goodness. You're, you're a boy. I thought you were a girl. You look so pretty from far. Aye, aye, aye. He says, you, I see how much strength you have just to, 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 to get a girl. If you take your same strength and you, and you put it to Torah, you'll be the biggest Ga'on. You'll be the biggest genius. You'll be the biggest Gadol Adon. And Rabbi Yohanan said, guess what? I have a sister more beautiful than me. Go learn Torah. I'll give you my sister. He says, okay. Let's do it. He ended up learning big, biggest genius, biggest gaon, biggest gadol After 120, he died. He goes up. Who's in the waiting room of the bed deed? Resh Lakish and his friends and his boys, the, the, the bandits. So Resh Lakish, they tell him, oh, Resh Lakish, come over here, bed to calling you. Oh, wait. You get the highest rewards, going to head in the front row. What? You see? Yeah. And they look, the, 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 his friends look, wow. <gasps> They're so jealous. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. They're like, imagine us. He was the leader of us. Imagine us, what we're going to get. They're excited. What do they tell him? Getting out. What do you mean getting out for us? He gets got He says, yeah. He says, why? He made chuva. He came back. He dedicated his life to serve Hashem. He, he, he did it. So he says, okay, we'll dedicate. He says, buddy, it's too late. Only in this world you have that chance. Not in the next world. So everybody has to dedicate themselves now. You have a better life here in Putai. People get mistaken. They say, oh, it's hard. It's this. It's that. It's all a bunch of baloney. You know why? Because guess what? It's so enjoyable. You have to get yourself enthusiastic and excited from the fact that, whoa, you know what you're doing? I'll tell you a true story. I'll end with this. You ready? One time, this past week, I was walking with my young daughter. She's three years old. Three-year-old girl. I'm walking with her. Now, I'm holding a lot of packages. I'm down the block, whatever. I went to the supermarket. I'm holding a lot of packages. So I see that she's tired, but she could carry like a small uh, package, you know? So I give her the package. It's like a bag of, t uh, there's, tissue, there's tissue boxes in the package, like a bag of, of what's it called, a bounty. And a she could get all that. It's not heavy. She's holding it. She said, ah. she said, Daddy, I'm too tired. It's this, it's that. I said, no problem. Give me back the bag. Then I give her another bag. Maybe heavier than that bag. It was Fruity Pebbles. You know Fruity Pebbles? You know what I'm talking about? I bought Fruity Pebbles for the house, which are bad cereal. I give it to, I, I, I say, listen, I've got, I tell her, you want to hold this uh, bag? So what is this? I, she looks, she says, it's fruity belt. Oh, I love fruity belt. You want to hold it? Yeah. She holds it. How, how'd she be able to do that? She said, hold it the whole time. So I said, no, give it back to me. No, daddy, I want to hold the fruity belt. I said, no, I'm going to give it back. She didn't want to let go of it. But when I gave her the tissue, box, oh, it's too heavy for me. When I get, you know what the answer is? She was so enthusiastic. She was so happy. She's holding something that she loves. We have to hold the Torah and the mitzvot like we love it so much. It'll be light on you, trust me. I'm excited to go to Minyan tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. I can't wait. If I'm a lady, I'm excited. A lady has to have that enthusiasm. Oh, I'm so excited. I could put on a skirt. It's the oud. Oh, I can't. I, I'm serving a chef like this. I'm so happy. A guy has to be excited. I'm learning Torah. Today I can learn. Oh. I have to be enthusiastic. You know why? Because you're holding diamonds.